Shalwam, Shalwam. We back in Lord Glory. Tiawu Bashem Yau Shai. Bashem Kakutash. Give me double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Mill Stone. We told us it's true. Why he let you so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans know that you are Israelites according to archaeology, according to the prophecies of the Holy Bible, according to history? You so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are the 12 tribes of the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. You have Judah, so called African Americans, the tribe of Benjamin, so called West Indians. Tribe of Levi, so-called Asians. The tribe of Simeon, so-called Dominicans. The tribe of Zebulon, uh, from Guatemala to Panama. You have the tribe of Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Manasseh, so-called Cubans. The tribe of Gad, the North American Native Indians. The tribe of Reuben, the Seminole Indians. The tribe of Naphtali, from Argentina to Chile. The tribe of Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, and the tribe of Issachar, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we are here to prophesy salvation unto the elect of the nation of Israel. And we're giving you the Holy Bible in its entirety, according to the visions that John the Revelator saw. He saw both great and small, rich and poor, take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, according to Revelation 13 and 16. So those of our people, two-thirds, meaning the majority, will be deceived into taking the RFID chip, and they will be condemned to the lake of fire, which is America, Babylon Great, being burnt up by ICBM missiles, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Again, we're prophesying salvation unto those who believe in this testimony that we have which is the everlasting gospel, which is salvation, like Yahushua Mashiach, when you call Jesus Christ, he said salvation is of the Jews. The Jews were black, and the prophets are black. Yahushua Mashiach, when you call Jesus Christ, was a so-called black man. These are the lies that are perpetrated to our people. And now, in these last days, are being revealed, starting with the arms and apostles, the great mill stone. So two-thirds of our people will be deceived into taking the RFID chip. And you other nations are already condemned, those that are in this land. Which is why we say this land is finished. Why? Because the last judgments, according to the Holy Bible, right, following, the, following the man mandatory implementation of the RFID chip is nuclear destruction, which is the beginning of Armageddon, which is World War III. The scriptures speak about the second world is past and the third world coming quickly. What comes with that? What comes with that is great destruction, famine, a lack of water, a lack of bread. These are the same things that our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, spoke about when you call Jesus Christ. He spoke about these things that you see today happening before your very eyes. According to the book of Psalms, chapter 83, you have the other nations coming up trying to distract our people making a tumult, thinking that they're gonna, they're gonna throw off the Most High God and His prophecies. You goddamn devils, you're finished. I mean, of your other nations, which is why we're calling our people to repent, come back to their nationality, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Seek the Most High God while you still may be found. How do you do that? By seeking the prophecies of the Holy Bible, by reading and understanding what these things are written, and they will come to pass. Why they're written? To whom they're written for? Why are these things happening to us? Why? Because these are the curses according to the book of Deuteronomy, which was put on our forefathers. And today, we're living in the revitalized Roman Empire. Two thirds of our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So they will not seek the Most High God while He still may be found, which is through the prophecies of the Holy Bible coming back to your nationality, making your supplication unto the Holy Father by prayer. Meaning, you can extend your hands to the east, to Jerusalem, the Holy Land, all the Israelites, all the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, make your supplication. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushah, seek the prophecies of the Most High God, which are written and have been revealed in these last days, have been hidden for over 2,000 years. 
But like Abishai Mashiach, who called Jesus Christ, he said many will run unto their unto their builders, unto their uh, unto their works, unto their, their to prove their, their cattle. They're not gonna hear. They're gonna be blinded these last days. So two thirds of our people do not understand how serious this is. They do not understand the real God's chosen people. Why? Because they're walking after their own lust. Going for, falling after the area K, which is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, back on the earth and the regeneration. So two-thirds of our people do not understand. They're going to keep walking after their own ways, denying the Lord and Savior that bought them, Hamashiach, Yahushai, and their God, Yahweh. God is a title. Yahweh is his name. Ba'ashem Yahushai. Ba'ashem Kodash. We prophesied in the name of the Holy Spirit to you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Letting you know that there is only a few prophecies left according to the Holy Bible that will come to pass, which will commence the great destruction upon America, Babylon, Great, and throughout the whole earth, which is Armageddon, which is the beginning of World War III. You have FEMA camps coming upon America, Babylon, Great, Coast Guard troops covering the streets. There is already a spirit of division in this land. Why? Because that is part of the things that Hamas, Shiak, Yahushai, who you call Jesus Christ, he spoke about. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 27. Were it not that I fear the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely. And they are behaving themselves strangely. Why? Because the Most High God has put us in their hands until this time, until the time of the end. And the end is being made manifest. So our enemies think they have the upper hand. The so-called white man, he thinks he's going to start his new system, implement his new system through his RFID chip. You are the nations you think you're going to have the next dominion over America, Babylon, Great, and throughout the whole earth. China, Russia, Iran, these nations think they're going to be the next superpower right after America, Babylon, Great. But the Most High God, as it is written in the scriptures, they deceive and they deceive all his. Which is why the so-called white man started as Illuminati in 1776. That was nothing but bullcrap and philosophy to blind our people and to think that we're part of something. We're really, we're as flocks being led to the slaughter. Why? Because this goddamn devil, he knows that the other nations are growing beyond the birth rate that he is producing. So he knows that he has but a short time. He knows he's the basis of the, of the, of the humans upon earth. These other nations are far more stronger and intelligent than these goddamn devils. So this man has to implement these new systems. Why? Because he knows that he has but a short time. So all these things were written according to the Lord to give us the understanding, to comfort us, and let us know the salvation is coming. How is that going to happen? Will the scriptures speak about being fitted to the marriage of the Lamb? How are you fitted to the marriage through the words of this book? Starting with the words of this book. Ultimately, being caught up in the chariots by the Most High is only God the Son, Mashiach Yahushai, when He returns as an angelic power to deliver His elect, to destroy two thirds of our people, as well as America, Babylon, Great. So, if you, so our people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge. You are the nations that you have held their hand, but the Most High God, Creator of heaven and earth, has another thing coming for you, goddamn devils. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 27, unless they should say, our hand is high, and the Lord had not done all this, for they are the nation built of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. This is talking about the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We have no understanding. We have no counselors. Our counselors are the philosophies of this world. These are the nations which the scriptures speak about in the book of Psalms 83, the nations making the tumult, lifting up their head to cut off Israel from being a nation, 
which is why you have these false, these uh, these false flags and all these things happening upon the earth the Babylon break. Why? Because the devil that the Bible speaks of, he knows that the Israelites are waking up. You have the nations know that when we come back to our nationality as a whole, that you other nations will be under us. And according to the prophecies, your nations will be under us. So the book of Psalms, chapter 83, speaks about these other nations conspiring against God's chosen people. You have the Israelites, which are the so-called Arabs. You have the Moabites, the so-called Chinese. It speaks about the Ammonites, the so-called Japanese, and as well as these other African nations. And they're not the same as our Negro brothers. These are two different distinct nations. The so-called African Americans, they are not African. Those are two different nations, two different customs, completely different people. So these other nations have conspired upon the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are God's chosen people, which are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Jew pertains to one tribe, the tribe of Judah. We are Israelites of the sons of Jacob of the 12 tribes. Deuteronomy 32 and 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider the latter end. So two thirds of our people don't consider the latter end of things. They have no faith. They have no understanding. Deuteronomy 32, 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider the latter end. How shall one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except the rock had saved them, and the Lord had shut them up? For the rock is not his own rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. That word for judges is intercessors. So our rock is not like their rock, because Because the God of Israel, of your so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is the living God. We worship the living God. We do not worship man. We worship the creator of heaven and earth. So that is our rock. And your rock is your other nations. You got, you got them devils. It speaks about in Psalms chapter 145 that the gods of the nations are nothing but idols. So we worship the living God. And our rock is not like their rock, which is literally a rock. Our God is the creator of heaven and earth. Their gods are nothing but idols and will not save them in the great destruction that is coming, which is where they be, all together, one house invading another. So these other nations, they know that we worship the living God. And we're following after them, two-thirds of our people. We follow after these vain things. Deuteronomy 32 and 31, for their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being intercessors. Because our enemies, they have to make intercession to their idols, to their graven images, which will not save you. From, this guy, from, the, from the devil's wrath, which is a so-called white man's wrath. Because whether you believe it or not, Jacob's trouble is also the trouble of the other nations. Why? Because the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, he knows that he has but a short time. Eventually he's going to come with great force on the other nations, on two-thirds of our people, as well as his saying to the Most High God, but we will be delivered, thus saith the Holy Bible. Deuteronomy 32 and 32, for the vine is the vine of Sodom, <clears throat> and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of gold, their clusters are bitter. So this is talking about the ways that two-thirds of our people, we walk, at, they walk after the ways of the other nations, after the philosophies of this world, which is the philosophies of the so-called white man because he is a ruler of this world, this current dominion as we speak. So what is the vine of Sodom? Sodom means burning in the Hebrew. So that's talking about homosexuality. Homosexuality which is perpetrated by this goddamn devil. Deuteronomy 32. 
32 and 32, end of the fields of Gomorrah. Gomorrah in the Hebrew is Amara, which means merchandise. And our people are made merchandise here in America, Babylon the Great. They sell out in order to gain virtues, in order to gain a measly, like Kanye West said, sell, sell your soul for a cheeseburger and a happy meal. That's, that's what two-thirds of our people are doing. They're selling their soul for nothing that will, that will deliver them, that will benefit them in these last days. Because believe it or not, this man system is going down. And this man knows that he has for a short time. And you cannot actually say, sell your soul. Our people are deceived by our philosophies of myth. Selling your soul, the only thing that means is selling your body. Your soul is your body. Deuteronomy 32 and 32. For their mind is a vine of Sodom, and no preferred to Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, meaning poisons. And all the scriptures speak about wine being blind in the eyes of the, of the wise men. Wine in the Holy Bible is talking about philosophy. So the grapes of gall, gall is a poison. The philosophies of this world are poisons. Which is what you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are caught up in. Commandments of men. So-called religion. This is not a book of religion. This is a book of history of a nation of people. So we're deceived by doctrines and philosophies of men. Two-thirds of our people are drunk on the philosophies of this world. And are poisoned by it. You have the rapid Nas. He spoke about poison. And that includes drugs also. XCC Cook. It's not love, it's poison. All these things that are in the society is poison. Which comes, stems from the philosophies of this world. The things that the so-called white man perpetrates to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans in pop culture. Deuteronomy 32 and 32. And their clusters are bitter. Why? Because these philosophies are nothing but bitter and bitterness to our people. Why? Because they don't show us the way. They don't show us the true wisdom which is found in the Holy Bible. The wisdom which shows you how to move in their society. The wisdom to know who your enemies are. The wisdom to know who you are, according to the Holy Bible. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Deuteronomy 32 and 33. Their wine is a praise of the dragons and the crew of venom of asps. First, Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belong the vengeance and recompense. Therefore, shall slide, shall slide in due time. So two thirds of our people, their foot are gonna, is going to slide in due time. This is first talking about our people in this verse. But our people fall after the ways, after the philosophies, after, after these other nations. So they believe that their artists are going to save them. The artists of these other nations are going to be any benefit to them in these last days. The money of these other nations, which comes from the so-called white man, is going to benefit them in these last days. But the most high God has said he's, he phrased up right there in order to throw him down, in order to show his power in him, which is why the most high God has raised up prophets here in America, Babylon, the great. Starting with the elders and apostles, the great male stone, to give you the 100% truth of the Holy Bible. Deuteronomy 32 and 35, to me belong your vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. So two thirds of our people, their foot will slide in due time. Why? Because the Holy Scriptures speak about our people making a covenant with death and thinking they'll be protected under that. So our people think because they made a covenant with the goddamn devil that he's going to spare them. But he was set up the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so called white man. He was set up to throw down two thirds of our people, which walked after the ways, which are walking after the ways of rebellion, along with you other nations. So your covenant of death will be disappeared when you have no other choice but to take the RFID chip, two thirds of our people and you other nations. So you think that's gonna save you in the last day? 
You know the nation state, you're gonna make a last move against this devil and throw it in that throw it down, throw down the system. But the most high God is to see you, you got them enemies. So we know that that there is in his way, the deceiver the deceiver it is. And you coming in with death will be disobeyed, two thirds of our people. Which is why one third will understand that they have to seek the Most High God while he still may be found. Which is through the Holy Scriptures, making supplication unto the Most High God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and having faith in Him, because this is about faith. This is about believing in the prophecies of the Holy Bible, returning to your nationality, so that you may find grace in the Most High God to watch as well as pray. As the last of these prophecies are coming to pass, and the doors of mercy are closing to you, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. These other nations, they know they're finished. They know they will have to submit unto a so-called white man in their system. Why? Because in the book of Proverbs, it speaks about the, the, the borrower being serving unto the lender. But we know that all these things will not come to pass. This man will not set up his new system. The Most High God will deliver his elect be the chariots of the Most High God. The so-called UFOs you read about throughout the Holy Bible. Now is that time, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Speaks about, the Holy Scriptures speak about the hour of temptation, which will come upon the whole earth, which is Jacob's trouble, which is the uh, beginning of sorrows, which is the great tribulation. This will happen throughout the whole earth. Why? Because it's the Almighty Church will be mandated throughout the whole earth. So two thirds of our people, their foot will slide in due time, as well as you have the nations. Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belong in vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. So two thirds of our people, as well as you other nations, the day of calamity is at hand. Because God is coming, and it's coming quickly, but it's going to come World War III. One house and then another, a lack of water, a lack of bread, great destruction, chaos, Coast Guard troops covered in the streets, FEMA camps, you covered up with death, will be disobeyed, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Your only hope now is in the creator of heaven and earth, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy 32 and 36. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that the power is gone and there is none, shut up their life. For the Most High God will judge his people when he sees that the power is gone. When there is none, shut up their life. When there is none, shut up and run. So I is going to judge us. He's going to judge two thirds of our people that walk after the ways of this world, after the commandments of men. Those that will take the RFID chip will be condemned to the lake of fire. He's going to judge his people via the eyes and via missiles coming upon America, Babylon the Great. So the elect will be justified by faith as well as works. By seeking the Most High God, while you still may be found, making your supplication unto Him, watching as well as praying, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Thus saith the Holy Bible. So He's going to judge His people, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who is only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahushai. Deuteronomy 32 and 37, and he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock, in whom they trusted? Which is, these are their idols, these vanities that two thirds of our people are caught up in. Commandments of men, religion, Christianity, Catholicism, and all religions that came out of it. They're caught up in these false worshiping, vain oblations, things that will not save you. Money, money will not save you in these last days. This is what the Holy Bible speaks about. Deuteronomy 32 and 37, and he shall say, Where are their gods, the rock, and whom they trusted? So the rock is not like our rock. Our rock is a living power. 
Yahweh, greater of heaven and earth, in the name of Hamashiach Yahushai. So where is their God in whom they trusted? Is what's going to happen in the last days. And the book of Habakkuk speaks about that very same thing. Their idols will not save them. Their, their vanities, things that they trusted in, their covenant with death. All these things will be disannulled as the last of these prophecies are coming to pass. As the doors of ministry are closing, and the doors of mercy are closing, as the most high God is closing up the breaches in the house of David, which is the elect that are being sealed through this word. It is not of us, it is of the most high God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Deuteronomy 32 38, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. What is the fat of their sacrifices and the wine of the drink offerings? Well, two thirds of our people are still celebrating vanities like Thanksgiving, Christmas. These are drink offerings. These are not oblations that you're making to, to Him that created you, Him that redeemed you, Him that has gave you grace up until now. He's kept you alive. Two thirds of our people, you're nothing but a bunch of ungrateful cowards. Thus saith the Holy Bible, and you need to repent and come back to your nationality. Seek the Most High God and these prophecies as the last of these prophecies are coming to pass. Deuteronomy 32 and 38, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Verse 40, if I lift up my hand to heaven and I say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword, my hand shall take hold on judgment. I will win the vengeance to my enemies. I will reward them that hate me. So the, the Most High God is going to reward two thirds of our. Two thirds of our people for following out their vanities, their drink offerings that they poured to these false gods. There is no God but Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. But two thirds of our people, they're deceived in their own mind. Deuteronomy 32 and 41. And my hand shall take hold on judgment. I will run the vengeance to my enemies and reward them that hate me. So you are enemies of the Most High God, two thirds of our people. And he has the eyes to be a missile with your name on it. And the lasers of the Most High God with your name on it. Deuteronomy 32 and 42. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. Now what is a arrow? It's something that pierces through something. In the Hebrew that's Hatazah. That means it's going to pierce, it's going to pierce right through its target. So what pierces right through its target? Well, you have the eyes to be a missile. Are going to pierce right through America, Babylon, break, and burn it up. As well as the chariots of the Most High God. These are the arrows of the Most High God that we see were sent upon two thirds of our people. As well as you have the nations starting in America, Babylon, break. Deuteronomy 32 and 42, I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh. And what is the sword of the Most High God? Is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Romans chapter 9 speaks about him raising up Pharaoh to show his power in him. And also, the Most High God is called the Lord of Armies. Who are his armies? Well, the armies of the earth, which he has, he controls. He controls the things that are made on the earth, like like the uh, ICBM missiles. So these are, these are, this is a sword of the Most High God, which He has raised up to show His power in Him, to put down two thirds of our people, which are rebels, and you are the nations, which are rebellious after the Most High God and His works. Starting with the things that the elders and apostles of Great Millstone speak, you got them scoffers. You're already finished. This land is finished. God must say the Holy Bible. 
The chariots of the Most High God, as well as the ICBM missiles, will throw down this great war.